everyone, welcome back, or welcome for the first time. If this is the first time you're joining us, I'm Miss Vicki, and I'm here to help kick off your celebration of the best gift ever. As we enter this Christmas season, we remember that the ultimate gift that God gave us, of course, on Christmas is Jesus. So we're kicking off our Christmas season all together here today. And I cannot wait to share with you throughout the Christmas season, because as we know, Christmas isn't just one day, it's a whole season that we get to celebrate the wonderful gift that Jesus is to all of us. But as we begin our time together, there's a couple of rules we have to go over. The first one is, is that we love God. All right, say it with me, love God. By loving God, that means that we spend time with Him. And that's what we're doing right here together. If it's in person or here online, it's so important to take time to spend with Him. And I'm so glad you're here to spend some time with Him and me today. Now, when we do that, it means that we fully embrace everything we're doing. It's doing the dances. It's praying together. It's doing the responses. It is about fully embracing this chance to worship Him. And that is is also when we remember to listen with our hearts sometimes as we listen to our gospel as we're praying together because he has a special message for each and every one of us and when we love him and we fully embrace everything that we are asked to do we have a chance to hear him in our hearts all right our other thing that we always keep in mind when we're together is to love others all right say it with me love others and that means if you're watching this with other family members, it means making sure we're not bumping into them during some of the dance parts. It's encouraging them to listen. And it means that we're listening so that and not talking when we're listening to different parts of this video because then everyone can hear the message. And remember what that first part we talked about, about loving God? It means that everyone has a chance to listen and hear that special message that God just has for them. All right. I think we've covered all the rules. Oh, yes. So let's have a fa -la, -la, la great time. Let's begin our time together with a Merry Christmas. And then we're going to head over for our opening prayer. All right. On the count of three. One, two, three. Merry Christmas. All right. Let's begin our time together in prayer. And I'll see you back. Let's begin our time together with our opening prayer. By coming among us as a little baby, God our Savior has shown us how good and kind He is. God sent Jesus Christ our Savior to give us His Spirit. Amen. You know, Christmas seems like it takes sometimes forever to get here, doesn't it? We've been counting down through the Advent season, getting ready for this for Christmas and the Christmas season. And we've been talking so much about how we prepare ourselves. And there's so much work that goes into getting ready for Christmas, isn't there? And I have just been waiting and waiting for Christmas to come. But that also reminds me that back before Jesus was born, that the Israelites were waiting for so long for Jesus to come. And they kept hearing in their scriptures about this Messiah who is to come. And they had these prophets who kept telling them this wonderful, wise ruler was going to come to take care of them. And one of those is Isaiah. Now, if you're at Mass with us or watching our live stream, your parents are hearing and you might be hearing about our first reading that came from Isaiah, which again is reminding us to point us back to the fact that Jesus was coming. And of course, today we celebrate when he came as a baby and we remember when he'll come again for all of us someday. So we join in them and during that waiting period. If you've been with me at Reindeer Radio, you know all about that because we've been talking about it for a couple of weeks. So as we head into our gospel today, we're not just going to look at the wonderful story of Christmas, but we're going to look at what led up to this glorious day, kind of like a little review of what we've been getting ready for over the Advent season. And then, of course, we remember when Jesus came on Christmas at the very end of our gospel. And we remember how the shepherds were some of the first people to hear about Jesus. But you know what? I'm getting in my head of myself. Let's head over and listen to our gospel all together. And we'll talk more about it after. Hallelujah, 
Over 2,000 years ago, in the little town of Bethlehem, something miraculous happened that would change everything. God gave us the best gift ever. But to really understand how great His gift was, we have to go back to the beginning of time. When God made the world, everything was perfect. The first people, Adam and Eve, lived in a beautiful garden and spent time with God every day. That is, until they disobeyed the one rule God gave them. At that moment, all of the wrong things in the world began, and their friendship with God was broken. Since God is perfect, Adam and Eve could no longer be friends with Him because of their sin. But God still loved them and promised to send a Savior who would take the punishment for them and all people. This was a gift that would fix everyone's friendship with God forever. As years passed, God reminded people of His promise by sending messages through prophets. One was named Isaiah, and he delivered a message that a special woman would give birth to a son and call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. Another prophet named Micah let the people know that Jesus would be born in the town of Bethlehem. The people continued to wait for God to send someone to save them. They trusted that God would keep every one of His promises, even if they had to wait, and they waited for a really long time. Then, finally, God surprised a girl named Mary who was engaged to a man named Joseph. God sent the angel Gabriel to give her a message. Don't be afraid, Mary. God is very pleased with you. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son. You must call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High God. Mary asked the angel, how can this be? Because she wasn't even married. The angel told her, the Holy Spirit will come to you and the power of the Most High God will cover you. The baby will be holy and will be called the Son of God. Mary sang a song praising God as she remembered his promises from long ago and trusted his new promise to her. But Joseph didn't understand, and because he didn't want people to think badly about Mary, he planned to secretly call the marriage off. But an angel came to him in a dream and said, Joseph, don't be afraid to accept Mary as your wife. The baby inside her is from the Holy Spirit. Mary will give birth to a son. You will name him Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel told him to do, and they got married. God was doing all the things he had promised long ago to fix our friendship with him, and he wasn't done yet. He was about to come and be with us. When it was almost time for Mary to have her baby, the ruler of the country ordered all the people to go to their hometowns to be counted. So Mary and Joseph loaded up their donkey and traveled to the town of Bethlehem, where Joseph's family was from. When Mary and Joseph arrived, the time came for Mary to have her baby. But there was one big problem. The inn in Bethlehem was full, so Mary and Joseph had no choice but to stay in the stable where sheep eat and donkeys sleep. And later that night, the wait was finally over. In a place no one would ever expect, Jesus, the Savior God had promised, was born. That same night, some shepherds were watching their sheep when suddenly an angel stood before them. The glory of the Lord was shining all around them, and the angel said, Don't be afraid, because I am bringing you some good news. Today your Savior was born in Bethlehem. He is Christ the Lord. This is how you will know him. You will find a baby wrapped in cloth and lying in a manger. So the shepherds went quickly and found Mary and Joseph, right there before their eyes. I always love reflecting on what it must have been like for the shepherds on that day. To just be ordinary, doing their jobs, thinking they're going to have another night out in the field, and then receiving the wonderful news that Jesus was born. Remember, the Messiah, that for years, even before the shepherds were born, people had been waiting for. And God knew that Jesus was important to every single person, that he wanted to make sure that everyone knew about the glorious news, including those shepherds. You know, we know that Jesus came to save us from all our wrongdoings and to help us 
get closer to him and closer to God. So now let's spend some time professing that faith in that Lord and also bringing our prayers to him. Please stand for a profession of faith and respond, yes, I do. Do you believe in God, the Father, who longed to send us Jesus as our Lord and Savior? Yes, I do. Do you believe in Jesus, God's Son, who will come again to be our Lord and King? Yes, I do. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit, who stays with us until Jesus comes again? Yes, I do. Do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the gathering place of all who wait for Jesus to come again? Yes, I do. Knowing that Jesus came to save us from every evil, let us ask God for all that we need. Please respond to each prayer with, Prince of Peace, hear our prayer. For good shepherds to lead and guide our church, let us pray to the Lord. Prince of Peace, hear our prayer. For wise and just leaders in every nation on earth, let us pray to the Lord. Prince of Peace, hear our prayer. For loving parents and kind children in all the families of our parish, let us pray to the Lord. Prince of Peace, hear our prayer. For God's special blessing on the poor and needy in our community, let us pray to the Lord. Prince of Peace, hear our prayer. And what else would you like to pray for today? For all those things we say, Prince of Peace, hear our prayer. You know, today and every day, but especially at Christmas time, we celebrate the best gift ever, which is Jesus. Because when God sent his son to us, keeping that promise that he started so long ago, like we talked about earlier in today's lesson, he sent him to save us all from our wrongdoings and make sure that we could have a relationship with him every single day. As a matter of fact, when we look at James chapter 1, verse 17, it tells us that every good and perfect gift comes from God. And I can't wait to spend another couple of weeks with you exploring how God sent Jesus to us to be that gift and to help us be closer to him every single day. Because like I said, Christmas isn't over just because the day is. We have a couple more weeks in the Christmas season to celebrate this amazing gift that God sent to us by sending his son. I hope that you're able to join me for the next two weeks as we celebrate this gift. Make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel and of course, click that bell so you never don't hear when we're posting a new video. I've had so much time starting to kick off our celebration of Christmas with you, but we're not done yet. Join me now as we do our closing prayer. And then of course, we have a wonderful closing song to celebrate this season. I will see you back next time. Bye for now. And of course, have a holly jolly and very, very Merry Christmas. Loving God, thank you for sending us Jesus to be our King of Kindness and Prince of Peace. May his wisdom, strength, and love guide us all the days of our lives. And may your holy name be praised forever and ever. Amen. We're gonna dance, lift our hands, celebrate it's Christmas. Light up the world, Jesus is born. Whoa. Raise your voice, make some noise, it's Christmas. Let's celebrate and shout for joy. There's a reason why we sing and why we celebrate. It's Christmas time, yeah, it's Christmas time It's the season that he's given us a gift so great It's Christmas time, yeah, it's
it's Christmas time He's the light of the world, come down to us From heaven now everyone sing A gift so great It's Christmas time Yeah, it's Christmas time He's the light of the world Come down to us From heaven now everyone